In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Andy Roddick, Fernando Gonzalez fourth round match at the Australian Open. Roddick and Gonzalez have only played twice since 2007, and Roddick won both those matches relatively easily. Now, in my opinion, this match is going to come down to first serve percentage. And what I've done, I've got the first three rounds of the Aussie Open up here, and I've written down the first serve percentages for Roddick and Gonzalez. Now, Roddick's first serve percentage has been ridiculous. In the first round, he was at 71%, second round, 80 and third round, 74. That's incredibly high, and he's been holding serve pretty easily over the course of the tournament. Well, Gonzalez, his percentages are a little bit lower. 57, 59, and 59 again in the third round. And in my view, if Gonzalez is going to have a shot at winning this match, he needs to up his percentage to about, I'd say, 65%, somewhere in that range. Because Gonzalez is not going to have an opportunity, he's not going to be able to get his teeth into too many of Roddick's serve games. Roddick, not only is he serving an unbelievably high percentage, he's just playing well. The forehand's money, he's moving well, his backhand is real solid as well. He's mixing in the slice very effectively. So if Gonzalez wants to win this match, he needs to protect his service games better. He needs to not necessarily go for aces, but just up the percentage so that he is in control of most of his service points and he can get to his big forehand. Roddick's return is easily the weakest part of his game. Against Lopez, he was literally just standing there for some of his returns. Wasn't even moving for him. Lopez was acing him. Granted, Lopez was serving very well, but Roddick is just not a good returner. For whatever reason, he doesn't read the ball very well. He's not real quick out of his split step. So if Gonzalez just ups the serve percentage, he's probably going to get some returns that are easily playable, easily attackable, rather. And the goal here for Gonzo is to reduce the number of opportunities, the number of looks that Roddick gets on his serve. That's the best way that's going to give Gonzo the best shot at winning this match. Now, with that said, I'm sort of torn between calling this match in three sets versus four for Roddick. I think Roddick's just playing too big for Gonzo right now, and Gonzo's margin for error, his window, so to speak, for winning this match is just too small. Roddick's serve is clicking. His footwork is good. His backhand's good. His forehand's great. His mental game is there right now. He's very focused. So I think he wins this match, and he wins it relatively easily. Now, as many of you know, over the course of the Aussie Open, we were giving away a bunch of free stuff. And for this match, we're going to give away an Andy Roddick rookie card, which he has autographed. So to win this card, you have to accurately predict the score of this match. Whoever gets the closest is going to win that card. So please rate this video, subscribe to our channel, and then post your prediction in the comments below. You have up until when this match starts to make your prediction, so good luck. Want to know the secret to Roger Federer's forehand? Click the link in the description and sign up for our 100% free course.